All right, welcome back, everybody. It is finally not snowing. My inventory is a mess, but we need to get some clay and we need to go see if we can find <clears throat> one more animal. Uh, not a duck. We wanted to go for a boar. We do have some cows here. I'm wondering if they're going to attack me together. Like the sheep did. I'm not sure exactly where I've seen the boar, but... <clears throat> we'll go see what we can find. And then we're going to grab some clay before nighttime and work on getting our pot made. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Anything down this way? Not really. It is quite... Void of animals. Looks like there's something. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's see just how nasty you fellers are. Yeah, it looks like that other one's mad now. Yeah, ow. I can't hit him. Can't hit him. Let's get our javelin. Eh, eh, nope. <clears throat> I got a little more reach. Nope. Back up, Jack. Give me that back. Back it up. Well, they don't hit uh, too awful hard unless they hit you three times in a row. Shit, I missed. Okay, that didn't go well. I probably should not be hunting on the ice, but I thought being on the ice would give me a bit of an advantage. It did not. <clears throat> but you cannot hit those things with an axe. That kind of sucks. All right, I'm going to have to come up with a little bit better idea about how to kill this guy. Um, could you get off my dead body? Thank you. That's just rude. <coughs> He's only got a heart and a half left. Um, let's just use an arrow and finish him off. All right, let's see, keep this guy from a bit of a distance. Yeah, arrows, way better way of doing this. Definitely gonna have to make more arrows. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we can get him away from that. And run across here, pick it back up. Oh, gotcha. He got me too. That gives us six. And we need to make the bed. You two are not mad at me, right? Yeah, okay. So let's get back home now. So we have the six to make our sleeping bag. Something I'm not used to making in a game because I usually don't sleep, but I'll get it made. And I need to get some clay dug, which we've got a bunch of it right here. So let's get this out of here. We'll get a pretty decent little 
amount here. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it looks like all of it's over here, so just grab that. There, that's a whole patch. And didn't look like any of it fell down there. So we should be good. Now I just want to close this back up so I'm not falling in this hole. Let's see what I have in here. I can. Uh, gravel's not going to work. We got regular dirt. There's some loon. Go stick that in the hole. Well, that's not exactly where I wanted you. There we go. Now, let's get in. Uh, actually, uh, give me a few minutes. I'm going to cut down some trees. I'll be right back with you. All right. It is the next day. I went ahead and made another stone chest to put food stuff in and emptied out a lot of our crafting grids here. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at... We have a dried grass bed, which we need five straw and three wood planks for. And we've got wood here, so I'm guessing this is going to be an axe. Um, not sure where that went. That's better. And let's do one more since we don't know where the last one went. Alright, so now we can go ahead and get this made. Yep, that's the way it goes. And what do we need for that? What's the tool for this? Uh, an axe. Okay. Alright, so that gets that. We can't actually sleep on it. We can only set our spawn point, which we're still in here, so it really doesn't matter for that. Love to know where that Enderman is so I can get rid of him. That spider's getting a little annoying as well. Um, but if we go back up here to survival in the snow, we can also do our sleeping bag. <clears throat> we now get a sleeping bag warm enough to fall asleep inside. So we need six leather, we need leather strips, and straw lining, and we can do the leather strips like that, and we're going to need a strip for that along with two rope and some straw for that. So we've got plenty of leather here now, get that, and then the... Uh, this was, we need rope, which is three of those. Like that. So then we need rope, rope, strips in the middle, and then these go around the top and bottom. There is the lining, and then wasn't it Strips on sides and leather. Yeah, just like that. Alright, so now we have our sleeping bag. So that quest is done. Gives us oak log. This one should allow us to sleep through the night if we choose, which don't really care. Unless it's going to help with the snow. Um, fishing net, we'll work on that one next. And that'll be all we have left here, except for going and finding copper gravel and looking for actual coal. 
So back down here, we want to make our stew pot. So we need to make a clay cistern, a stew pot, and it says any stone. Boiling water once a cup beside campfire is slow and troublesome. It's time to find a new way. Put stew pot on a stove, then put fuel into the stove to cook. You can pour water inside it with cup or bucket, then click start cooking button to boil water. Okay, so we need clay around a stick. And we have plenty of clay here, so that. And we need a stick in the center. And there we go, that's that part. Then we need the pot. And the pot is going to be done over there. So we just need to cook this down here in our pit. So we'll place it and we'll cover it. And then I've got wood. and flint it up all right we'll let that cook now i did see there was a recipe here without the stick and i want to know what this is so this is a clay vessel and that does something somewhere ah here we go starting vessel maybe you don't have a chest at this time Try this, just put empty clay pot in kiln, burn to make this, keeps its content when destroyed. Okay, that is interesting. And that's going to give us 20 strip logs. Alright, so that is our next one now. Ceramic bucket, we can go ahead and work on this as well, which is that sort of shape. So let's get this done. Alright, so now we need to cook both of these in their own respective pits. And it's getting nighttime. Let's shut the door. And let's see what we can do to make a, another pit here. I do have some more uh, stone here. Pop that out. Pop that in. We'll have to take out these slabs. And stairs. Which I've been meaning to do anyways. And we can pack that in there. And more straw and I've got more wood here pop that in and there is our stew pot and let's get rid of the ash all right, now I was actually just getting ready to boil some water, so it's kind of good we got to this quest. All right, let's get these two started. And apparently it does use up your flint on occasion. I did go get some more gravel. I need to find some more. That one used up both of them on the first shot. Alright, so we're going to let those cook up. And is there a way of getting these off of? I don't think you can get them off there. So I guess they're just kind of stuck. And it looks like I need to make some better armor because... This stuff is about shot. Why am I looking in the barrels? Um, we don't have... Yeah, everything we did was... 
Now, let's go ahead and put our suit back on for right now. These don't... Oh yeah, they do have linings. There, we'll put them on for right now. And then I will see if I can get some more uh, animals and make some leather stuff. Since we're down to four. Alright, so trying to understand how this cooking pot is supposed to work. It says any stove. Stone, stove, or brick. Let's do stone. So that's dirt, except any dirt and any stone. All right, we can try that. Uh, we have three dirt there, and we've got five there. Um, yeah, that ain't working. It says any dirt, any stone with a hammer. And that is literally stone and dirt right there. Because that shale is what I've been using in here to make my stone for the chess. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. I got it. Uh, we can try loom instead, see if that does it. We got plenty of that laying around here. That does it. I'm kind of unsure why the regular dirt doesn't work, but well, loom counts, so we'll use it. Now I'll just close that up and I'll have to use one of these for now. We'll close it up. Alright, so we need hammer. Alright, so there's our stove. And we're going to put it... Yeah, let's put it right here. And then we'll put our stew pot. Okay, so we put this on top of that like that, maybe? Ah, there we go. We have a start cooking button. Enable redstone. There's a bowl there. This will be for fuel. Alright. So it says a bucket of water will work. So we'll take a bucket of water. We'll put that in there so that shows our water. It would really be nice if we could get these back off of here. And I'm just going to, let's see, we've got a lot of sticks. Let's just try to put eight sticks in here. And start cooking. Okay. That's cooking really, really fast. And is this going to change to boiled water at some point? Give it a log. I'm not sure this is going to turn to a boil of water. I can't put the bucket in there to grab it. Let's give it one more log just in case. It does show that it's almost done. Nail soup. Um... I have no idea what nail soup is. 
we have it now in our things. Let's try to drink it. Okay, that doesn't do nothing for us. Hmm. Yeah, our water's not going up. Our hunger's not going up. Uh, that doesn't work. Strange. I don't know why it's called nail soup. Alright, well, I'm going to end this here after we put this vessel down and check it out. Oh, big vessel. Okay. And then I can throw stuff in here, break it, and does it tell me what's in it? Oh, yes, it does. Alright, so that'll give us a way to carry stuff around. That's nice. Alright, I'm going to say something to the dev team about this, because that's pretty much what it said to do in the book. If I'm not misunderstanding this here, boiling water once... Um, yeah, that's still messed up. Still in troublesome. It's time to find a new way. Put stew pot on a stove. Fuel into it. You can put water inside it with a cup or a bucket. Then click start cooking to boil water. Yeah, that's exactly what we did. And, well, we got nail soup. All right, so let's get our stuff for these two. And now we have a uh, nether. Yeah, we're not ready for the nether. So we have copper, we have tin, and we have flux. And an unsandy uh, sandy brick. We will check those out later. I'm going to go ahead and do water the old way so I can have something to drink today. And it's a beautiful day out there. I'm going to spend it getting me some more, uh, doing a bit more hunting. Hopefully not dying this time because I'm going to try something that is uh, a little more my speed, I think. Leave those boards alone. Although I do have three arrows because I went out yesterday and did a walk around to see if there was any arrows from any skeletons that had died at night. Um, yeah, hi guys. I'm definitely not ready to deal with you. That's not fun. Let's go back inside. Anyways, I will talk to the devs, find out what's up with this nail soup thing and get back with you in the next one so have a good one and i'll catch you next time